Hey, check it out. I'm at a very special place to me out in the area, Fair Oaks Ranch. Think about the different churches that I've had the honor to serve and be a part of, the churches that have that have built me and the churches that have broken me. And man, this one's a perfect example. I look right here in this old portable building. My office was right in there. I remember one summer we had these portables drop down in place with a well, we'll we'll put all the we'll put all the interior walls up ourselves and you know, after a while it just ends up me me and the music minister and pastor just <laughs> spending all of our weekday hours putting in sheetrock. Man, good memories, but some of the harder memories is this church really went through a faith crisis around 9-11 when a lot of people started to question not just the kind of religions that would lead people to throw planes into buildings and kill people, but just question all organized religion. And, and this church had a faith crisis for sure. And it led to my faith crisis because I truly believe that Jesus Christ is the way and the truth and the life, that no one comes to the Father but through Jesus Christ. And man, I'm standing right here so eerie as I say those words, having a, a, a robust dialogue with my boss at the time. And we had a moment when I said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the way and the truth and the life. It's from the Gospel of John and the disagreement from my boss led to the agreement that I needed to go. I couldn't stay longer as the youth pastor if I believed in such absolute truth when he didn't. And so I left that church. I left this church at that time. This is before I had boys and now I didn't have a paycheck either. Goodness, I remember I wrestled. I had two weeks of unemployment. Uh, two weeks kind of paid time. I gotta get my stuff together and find another job so we can make sure April and I could continue to pay the bills. And for two weeks, I wrestled. I had a hammock in my backyard and I wrestled. I said, all right, God, because <laughs> he's big enough for you to, you know, go ahead and throw up questions to him, even wrestle with him. He's done it before. If he's wrestling with you now, don't give up too soon. Don't give up on God if he allows you to wrestle with him. I wrestled with God. I go, okay, God, man, forget that I grew up in church. Forget that I have loving parents that love you. Forget that I've been to seminary where I've studied your word. Just scrap it all right now for the sake of show me that you truly are the way and the truth and the life. Because if I can't fully, wholeheartedly hold on to this truth, then I can't be a pastor anymore and I need to like redo my resume and figure out a different place to work. <sighs> and by God's grace, as I wrestled with him, God led me to a, a similar question that Jesus threw up to heaven. Like from the, from the garden on the night before, you know, when Christ was betrayed, when Christ was betrayed that night, he goes spends time in the garden after he has the Lord's Supper and he washes the disciples' feet and says he's, he's weeping, he's sweating blood because he's so intense in the question, Father, is there any other way, any other way that we can save humanity, that we can rescue sinners, any other way that doesn't involve me going to the cross? Jesus asked that question. And the answer from the Heavenly Father, through his silence, because the Bible doesn't record an answer, it just records Christ then faithfully, obediently going to the cross. So put two and two together. If Jesus asked the question, and God the Father didn't give him any other answer other than him obediently going to the cross, then I truly believe that Jesus Christ is the way and the truth and the life. And I'm so glad to be at this church now because I've heard that it's really healthy. It's a strong church. It's called Spring Creek United Methodist Church. Strong worshipers believe the whole Bible, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, the truth that sets us free through Jesus Christ. So I guess if I have any word of encouragement, I just wanted to share some of my story because, you know, we got to keep sharing our stories or else we might, you know, relive our own history if we don't remind ourselves what God has brought us through. I'm so thankful this church that helped build me, this church that broke me, <laughs> and then God's faithfulness as he built me back up, built me in his truth, and now, you know, it's almost 18 years later, I think I have more passion, more hunger for the, the word of God, more desire to, to see it go out, spread out to a world that they would know that Jesus Christ truly is the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by him. I'd love to continue these conversations with you, especially if we get to spend some time on a bike. Seems like the best conversations come out of the, the bike rides together. So God bless you today. Peace.